Hello everybody out there, Chris here, finally back with another comic review, and in this review I will be reviewing Action Comics issue number 38. Now last issue, it ended with Superman coming face to face with this gigantic tentacle-like monster, no dirty thoughts anyone, and, he, and the monster had Lana enthralled in his body and was attacking these young kids. So now we start off here, and Clark wakes up in a cornfield, and he sees his parents' house on fire, so he goes racing. There is a flashback in this book, by the way, but check out the book. Um, and he races to save Lana, but not in time, and there's a really, really dark scene with the parents. You guys have to see it for yourselves with some zombified Kents. And um, we get a little bit more into what exactly is going on in Smallville. We find out who created the mist. What's going on with Miss Takahara, Mr. Santiago, and the others who have certain type of powers? And we find out more about the monsters. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a spoiler alert here. It takes place during the Doomsday fight with Superman and Doomsday. Apparently, Doomsday was jumping from Phantom Zone to Earth. So apparently, these monsters are coming out of the Phantom Zone. So the we find out why the mist is actually created to keep them inside Smallville instead of letting them wreak havoc on the entire world. So now it's up to Superman to stop them, but now this thing feeds off of fear, and there are these little kind of like tentacle monsters on the backs of all of their necks. And basically these monsters feed off of fear, and this big monster feeds off of all the fears and anger and hate she has, well not hate, I wouldn't say hate, but the anger and fear she has uh, for Superman because of what happened with Doomsday and the death of her parents and everything else. So now, what is Superman going to do to stop this tentacle monster? And it kind of ends with Lana just saying, give in like I did. And it says, next episode, Into the Phantom Zone. So I'm guessing we're going to somehow get into the Phantom Zone in the next issue. But there's a lot of development in this story. Uh, very interesting stuff. But now I've got to admit, this story is definitely starting to wear thin for me. Um, this could have been done in about three parts. I mean, I understand we're now going into the fourth part. I, I mean, as much as I like to see the development of Lana, you know, how she feels about what's happened with her parents and how she feels about Clark now, uh, I like that Superman's in Smallville also, but at the same time, this story arc should have finished up here. It should have ended here. And I feel like a fourth issue is kind of pushing it. Hopefully by the next issue, uh, it'll be done. I will say, though, I really love the artwork in here. Save the flashback artwork. I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of Jay Lee's artwork. Uh, but it was good, though. I will say Jay Lee's artwork was good, but the rest of the artwork in the book was fantastic. The artist on this book actually is... I want to get his name right, so I'm going to go here. Uh, June... Chung. Oh no, I'm sorry, Aaron Aaron Cooter. I'm sorry. Jay Lee and June Chung did the art for the flashback, and uh, Aaron Cooter was the artist on this book, and he did an excellent job. Uh, I like the whole beard Superman, but I am more looking forward to when he when the story arc finishes and he finally shaves. Uh, there's a huge thing going on right now where New Year, new costume, new power, new villains. Obviously, we're going to see Ulysses from Superman uh, becoming possibly one of his new supervillains. New powers coming out of that story arc, but um, I'm more eager to see this new costume, so to speak. Will it be closer to the classic costume? Will it be the classic costume? What's going to go on? I'm very excited, but at the same time, I'm very apprehensive because I'm worried. Because I wasn't a fan of the costume when the New 52 started, and I wasn't a fan of his personality, but... Slowly, I see DC's fixing that with Superman, and that's another thing I like. You're getting that older Superman personality coming through with Clark, and I like that. Um, I guess, again, we just have to wait to see what happens after Convergence, and uh, yeah. This book, however, I would say gets a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 stars. The story is starting to drag a bit. I would like to see, hopefully, in the next issue, the grand finale, but the way it's shaping up, I think we have at least two more issues of this, and I don't know if this story arc really called for a five-issue um, story arc. But anyway, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. So until next time, everybody, as always, don't forget to share our comic-related comic, Frontline Zone 4 podcast, Frontline Gaming Zone. All together, we are your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Big year, fresh slate, first uh, books of the new year. 
we can't wait to get through 2015 and see all the amazing things to come. And hopefully you guys will join, join us on that journey. If you haven't already, please do click that sub button so we're in your sub box and you don't miss out on a single video. So until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys in the next review.